Tell me about that approach you had in the bottom of the ninth inning. What's just the key selective end of how you've been keeping it consistent offensively during the course of the year? Yeah, um, you know, Coach Weirs does a really good job with our approaches. Um, I was really just trying to slow it down in that moment. Um, really trying to get a good pitch to hit and, you know, just stay quiet and, you know, just not try to do too much. What's it like to just have guys like, you know, Jackson and Alex be such catalysts in the ninth inning? I know we spoke a few minutes ago about everything else. How do you just feel about, you know, what the small ball has, what small ball has done to you guys in big situations like today? Yeah, you know, our lineup's very dynamic. Um, but on days like today, whenever, you know, things aren't, you know, falling and we're not crushing it, I think that is another kind of addition that we can have in our lineup, you know, guys come off the bench and then a little sack bunt and just just continue to move it down the order. At the end of the day, you know, I think we're just trying to get to the next guy. If we can do that over and over and over again, we're going to be pretty successful. Setback from April, Virginia takes two out of three from you guys on the road in Charlottesville. What are you just thinking about the mindset for you guys, even back a few, a few weeks ago down in Charlotte, where you guys had to get accustomed to everything else leading into the regionals and making it to here? Yeah, um, you know, Virginia's a great team. Um, you know, I think we're both very different teams since April, um, but, you know, they're a great club and, you know, really, really know how to win in June. So, you know, we knew it was going to be tough. We knew it was going to be a dogfight. So just continuing to grind it out um, and, you know, just continuing to stay with our process.